Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous Sporties and Happy New Year's. It is January 1st. It is my very first video of the year. I know I've been MIA for quite some time, but the past several months I've had some issues going on and um, I just really haven't had it in me to sit down and film. And I know that they say if you're just not feeling it, don't do it because it's just not going to be what's the word I'm looking for? Genuine, I guess. It's just not going to be genuine if you're not feeling it. So today I'm feeling it because it's a new year and it's going to be a new me and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, anyways, so just so you guys know, I want to, I want to start, not really start, I want to actually post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. That is what my goal is to do with you guys, is every Tuesday and Thursday. Now, there might be a time or two or whatever that I might be, like, I don't know, if I go on vacation or something like that, I might not post. But, you know, for the most part, I want to keep it every Tuesday and Wednesday. No more of this two and three month hiatus where I just kind of go MIA. So, tomorrow and Thursday, or this whole week that I'm going to be posting, is going to be about products that... I used a lot that I really loved in 2017 and products that I just I, I just couldn't do. I just didn't like them for whatever reason or they just really sucked. <laughs> um, and those will be products that I just didn't like in 2017. So Tuesday's video is going to be the ones that I loved and then on Thursday will be the ones that I didn't. Today's video, however, since it is the first of the year, I'm going to give you guys my New Year's goals. I'm not calling them resolutions. I hate that term resolution. It is like so, to me, it's just so cliche. I don't, I don't want to call them resolutions because to me a resolution is something that you make at the beginning of the year and then, you know, a few weeks go by, a few months go by and the resolutions just kind of simmer off and then next thing you know, you've got the same exact resolutions the next year. I don't want to do that. So I'm calling them goals. Goals is something that is going to stick with me hopefully all year and hopefully I can accomplish them. You guys might think some of these are cliche and that's fine, but they are my goals and they are for me to help better myself. All right, so let me turn to the page where I wrote them down. By the way, one of my goals is to keep track better of my time and be a little more organized because, oh, I am so not. So I just started writing everything down. See, look, goals. Yeah, so I just started writing everything down so I knew exactly what I had to do or what I'm reaching and striving for. And before I jump into this, guys, if the lighting is a little bit off, I am really sorry. I'm going through like kind of a painting process in my room. Actually, I just finished painting it. So I've gone with a more warmer color. I hope it looks okay, but um, I don't have my actual studio light set back up yet. So I'm doing this natural sunlight. So I'm hoping it's, it's looking okay. Anyway, so let's jump into the goals, shall we? All right, so the first goal I basically already gave to you guys is I want to upload at least twice a week for you guys. Um, whether it just be something really small and simple or whether it be a full look or just a, sweet, a simple, sweet little product review, whatever, I want to be able to upload at least twice a week. Now, there might be a time or two that I might miss if I go on vacation or if I'm sick, I might miss, but... For the most part, I want to try to stay as pretty consistent as I can with my uploading. Um, I want to start including health and fitness in my videos. So I know, not so much last year, but the year before last, I was really, really focusing on health and fitness, and I did, well, not really health and fitness. Let me back up. The year before last... I had lost a lot of weight. I mean, I had shed probably 30 pounds, like, really quick. Um, and I told you guys, hey, I was doing this this thing that was helping me lose weight, and, you know, I was feeling great, And but you know what? And when I think back on it, I really wasn't. And a lot of that weight that I had lost, I had gained back. And a lot of it was because I just kind of felt down on myself. Um, I wasn't going about it the most healthiest way, if that makes sense. Um, I was pretty much, I would say, almost starving myself, eating very, very little calories to lose weight. So then as soon as I started eating again, I just, I gained all that weight back. So this year I'm going to focus on health and fitness, as in good, 
dietary habits. I'm not going vegan or vegetarian or anything like that, but good healthy habits, smaller portions, and working out, which I do work out. I do have a personal trainer, and I've had her for a couple of years. She's really mean, but she's really good, and I really need that. And um, I'm hoping with that and throwing in, a, throwing in a little extra cardio and really creating meal plans and following through with them is going to really help me. And I want to bring you guys along on some of that journey with me. I might not be able to take you into my personal trainer's studio. I, I, I'll need to talk to her about that. I don't know if she would actually allow that. But I do want to do some meal planning with you guys. I, I, I want to do some more of that kind of stuff with you. Not just makeup products and reviews. Yes, I will still be doing that. But I also want to get myself healthy. So health and fitness, I want to start incorporating that into some of my videos as well. And along those same lines, one of my goals for 2018 along with the health and fitness is I want to be able to do a chin up. At least just one. At least just one. I told my trainer I wanted to be able to do at least just one in 2018 because I can't even like get halfway up there by myself. There's just no way. Um, and she says, well, why stop at one? Why not do two? And I'm like, well, if I can get to do, great, I'll do two. But let's just start at one and see where we go. At least I know if I can get to one, then I can get to two. So I want to be able to do at least one chin-up this year. I know that's kind of dumb, isn't it? <laughs> so not only do I want to do a healthy eating plan, get more, you know, get more healthy, lose a little bit of weight, um, work with my fitness levels, do a chin up, but I want to stick to it. So that's another goal. I want to stick to that plan. Yeah, there's going to be days where you fall off the wagon. It happens. We're human. I mean, it's just how it is. But for the most part, I want to be able to stick to this. I want to follow that 80-20 rule. You know, if you're good, if you're perfect 80% of the time, that little 20% you can play around with a little bit here and there. So I want to stick to that 80-20 rule. So most of the time I want to be good and I want to follow that through. I want to carry that through all of 2018. So my next goal that I'm shooting for in 2018 is to not be so completely down on myself. I want to work on, you know, that, that self, that, what do you call it? Positive self-talk. Um, I'm all the time talking down to myself all the time. Oh, I look like crap. Oh, I'm fat. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. I need to quit doing that. I need to start practicing positive self-talk. And if I'm practicing it with myself, then I need to make sure that I am doing the same with others, if that makes sense. So instead of looking at somebody and going, oh my God, she just looks horrible. It's just so bad. It's just, oh look, she's just this or she's that or he's this or he's that. I need to quit doing that. I need to quit being so judgmental and looking for more of the positive in people than the negative, if that makes sense. So that's something that, that I'm going to be working on for me because I feel that if I can do that for myself and I can do that for other people, then I'm going to feel better about me. Um, of course, every single New Year's resolution goal for me <laughs> is going to be saving money. Not that I want to come into a whole lot of money but I need to get better at saving it. I need to get better at budgeting, planning, um, socking money away for a rainy day. So that's, that's just life. And the last thing that is on my goal list for 2018, at least for right now, my goals might grow as I hit some of these, but the last thing that is on my goal list is to let things roll off easier, not to let things bother me so bad. In the past, somebody would say something, or I'm that person that would get the road rage driving down the road. Now my husband does, and it just aggravates the crap out of me because I see it. But um, I need to let things roll off. Something will happen at work, and it'll just stress me out so bad, and I'll just get so angry and so irritated. You know, I just need to let that stuff roll off. Just brush it off, you know, be done with it, and just look past it. I mean, it is what it is. Life is what it is. I can't control what other people do or what other people say or I don't know I can't control anybody else's actions all I can do is I can control how I respond and how I feel about those actions so I need to quit allowing myself to feel 
angry because somebody else did something I don't like. They're, they're going to do it. You know, they're going to do their thing. They're going to do what they know to do. I don't want to allow myself to get angry or to get hurt or to get just really stressed out because of somebody else's actions. So, therefore, I just need to let things roll off. Just take a deep breath and just push everything away and just be concerned with how I respond and I can control me. My mom has this saying. She used to say, put your hand out like this. And she's, if she's watching this video, she's going to know. She used to say, put your hand out. And then she would say, everything over here you cannot control. You can only control the things right here on this side of your hand. So you can't put everything on this side of your hand. You can only control yourself and your feelings. And guys, that is pretty much my goals for 2018. Um, I hope they weren't too terribly cliche. I hope they made sense. These are the things that I'm working towards. And I'm hoping that I'll achieve them and be able to create more goals. I might actually even add on to this list. And I don't know, maybe next year it'll be more goals, higher goals to, str to strive for. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also guys, you can look me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, um, what am I missing? Pinterest, all under Rock Fabulous 40s. Also guys, please remember to hit subscribe down there at the bottom of the screen. Also, if you want to get notified of videos that I post, hit the bell down there as well. But definitely like, subscribe, bell, <laughs> and you too can rock your fabulous 40s. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.